Hi class, I'm Jake Morris. I'm going to be your instructor for the summer 2022 term here uh, for crime prevention. Uh, CRJU 3200. Uh, if anybody's not in this class, if anybody didn't sign up for this class, now's your chance to uh, hopefully shoot me a quick email or maybe your guidance counselor uh, so that they can get you squared away. But uh, so far our luck's been pretty good, so I, I got to imagine that everyone that's here is uh, supposed to be here. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple of quick things. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I, I do see a lot of familiar names on the roster, which is pretty cool. Um, good to have you back for those who are uh, who are new. Uh, I mean, uh, I've had in past classes. And uh, also uh, for the new ones, welcome. Uh, I hope to have an awesome time. I hope to make it fun, and I hope to uh, make it informative. So uh, I really think that, that most of the things here in the criminal justice field can actually be a lot of fun. and. Uh, you know, as the semester goes on, I think we'll have a good time. Uh, so I'll, I'll look forward to trying to find some humorous stuff and throw some things in there. Let's face it, you know, it's it's college, it's it's school, and not everybody has a blast going to school. But uh, hopefully, this is an experience that will, uh, I don't know, just kind of make it. Uh, if you have to go to school, I hope you uh, appreciate going to uh, BGSU here online. So. Uh, with that being said, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a police lieutenant for the Lorraine, Ohio Police Department. I've been on for about 17 years, just over. Um, a lot of time in the Detective Bureau, uh, just about 10 years. Uh, done a couple of different things as far as field training officer, uh, some of the other specialized units I've been in. I currently head the uh, community outreach unit for the department, which you know, believe it or not, if you asked me if I was going to be doing that 10 years ago, I never would have thought. But uh, the more you do it, the more I kind of find that, man, it's a it's a really important part of policing that a lot of people miss, I think. Um, so either way, uh, that's just a little bit about me. Uh, love what I do. I really, really love teaching, though. I find that I learn so much more from my students than sometimes than my students do from me. But hopefully, uh, like I said, we can make this a fun class where we both we both get a lot out of it. Um, I am super accessible. My students come first. If, uh, if there's anything that you guys need, and this is, you know, uh, if you just need somebody to talk to or you want to bounce an idea off of me, even if it has something to do with another class, by all means, shoot me an email. Um, I am really, I'm here for your success. This is, this is not my A job, but it's a really high priority in my life uh, because I enjoy it so much. And, and really, it comes back down to enjoying helping people and uh, helping you guys and girls uh, just accomplish the goals that you have. You know, college is a piece of it, but it's a, a, a means of getting somewhere and it's a means of preparing you to be the best candidate that you can. So uh, again, as you uh, transition maybe into the employment world or, or if you're just stumped on something, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I, I will always make time for my students. Um, I did get my master's degree from Bowling Green uh, back in 2017. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm familiar. Uh, I did both online and in-person classes. So it's a little bit of a haul from Lorraine, but, uh, but it was worth it. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, my experience can help you all too. And uh, I certainly remember what it's like to be a student. Uh, I've only been out for a few years. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm still, uh, I'm still a student um, pursuing my PhD here. So I'm about halfway done with that. Anyway, that's that's me in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to know anything else, ask. But again, I'm a resource for you, not only for this class, but but uh, for anything. Uh, so please, by all means, I, I really appreciate and enjoy helping people. Uh, with that being said, let's go over the syllabus. Um, as, as we get into these new classes, uh, it's more and more important to uh, make sure you understand the material in this syllabus. I don't know if you habitually check those things, but that's kind of one of the first things that I do on every class because it really can kind of give you the roadmap on, on where you need to be. Hopefully you get a little bit ahead. I'm going to try not to really open up the the lessons too early because uh, you guys would end up being done in week two and uh, we have 14 weeks in this class. So as far as our, uh, our syllabus goes, here it is. Uh, Bowling Green, hopefully that's not a Shocker to anyone. Uh, crime prevention, CRJU 3200. Um, and this is our summer semester. We're online, so we won't be at the 
physically at the campus. Uh, my name is Jake Morris. You can call me Jake, you know, whatever. Uh, we meet online. There is no location. Office hours are as needed. Again, shoot me an email. Uh, you can either use a message, uh, the Canvas message board, um, to, to get a hold of me privately, or again, shoot me an email. It comes right to my phone. And usually when I see that there's a student who's reaching out, I try to uh, get, get back with you, if not immediately, within a day. So by all means, uh, use that and we will be good to go. That is my email in case you need it. Uh, you should probably have it on the message board too, but uh, again, that's it if you need it. Course description, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys go over that on your own. Uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be taking, but the important uh, part here is the text. I am a big online text guy. Um, I like my ebooks. For one, they're cheaper. Two, you can still buy them and keep them forever. Um, they don't have any resale value. I get it, so that's kind of on you. Um, but I do like the fact that it's digital. I can take it anywhere, and uh, you can highlight, make notes, and all that good stuff. Anyway, our book is this book right here, uh, written by Barkin and Ro Roque. Your guess is as good as mine on that. Um, and it's Crime Prevention, so clever title. Anyway, uh, by all means, here's the ISBN. Uh, if you want to put that into Amazon or whatever, e-textbooks, e collegetextbook.com, whatever. Um, your vendor, your choice. Uh, but here's a download link if you want to go directly to it. You absolutely can. Here's a link from directtextbook.com uh, for the physical textbook, for the actual hard copy. But again, it's your choice. You can get it from anywhere just as long as you're getting this book. You will need the book for this class for sure, for sure. Um, here's pretty much the breakdown. This is what we're going to cover. This is what we're going to do. And this is how it's going to shake out. So we're going to have 10 quizzes. There were 15 points each. My quizzes are not necessarily meant to have you guys pulling your hair out, okay? It's more of a reading check. If you cover the chapter for that week, each week corresponds with one chapter. Uh, we're not blasting you. This is not a labor intense class where you're going to be going crazy to meet deadlines. But with that being said, if you wait until the very end of the, the week, uh, you might be pulling your hair out because you're not going to have time and you're going to be racing against the clock. So um, again, quizzes, 10 of them for 15 points each. They're pretty much 10 questions each. They're usually over the terms so that we kind of get a, an idea that you can recognize these terms. I don't expect you to memorize everything in this book, okay? I, I would hope that most professors don't. Um, but I do hope that you can recognize, especially some of these terms that we're going to go over, um, know that you've heard them before, and if and when it becomes important, know that you can find them in this book. So again, you're going to you're going to realize I'm kind of realizing way after the fact here that uh, if I would have kept some of my textbooks from my master's degree, from my bachelor's degree, then uh, I'd probably be using them now in some of my projects and papers and things like that for my uh, PhD. And I think that the same thing is pretty relevant for you guys. If some of these terms, some of these ideas are very repetitive in the criminal justice uh, section. So you're going to see certain things like rational choice theory. These are cornerstones of criminal justice. So be able to recognize those, be able to find those when you need that exact, uh, that exact definition so that uh, when you are and you, and you have your book next to you, you're typing up a paper, you can uh, you can properly quote something or a term, use a term properly. That, that always makes professors uh, happy to see that you understand some of these terms and you can plug them in the right way. So again, quizzes, 10 of them, 15 points each. It's going to be 15% of your overall grade. Um, and uh, they're pretty, they're all multiple choice. They're all open book. I expect, like I said, I don't expect you to memorize this. So use your book, refer to your book. But again, it's gonna make your job a lot easier if you read the chapter. Matter of fact, if you read the chapter, you should be pretty uh, pretty quick on these quizzes. Assignments, we're gonna have six of them. They're gonna be 50 points each. That's 300 points total. Six times 50, yeah, all right, good. Um, and 30% of your grade. 
these assignments I'm going to try to get a little creative with. I'm going to try to do something fun. Um, I kind of hated it when my professors were just so linear, so robotic almost. I've had some in my day. Never had BG, but I've had some. I have some now. And uh, it's just kind of like takes a little bit of the creativity out of out of learning. So I hope to see you guys be pretty spontaneous, be, be creative, um, and enjoy this process because, again, you're not going to be going crazy trying to meet deadlines, um, at least not for this class, as long as you get on it early and, and uh, just, just enjoy the process, right? Enjoy the, enjoy the ride here. So with assignments, I'm going to be honest, I'm still kind of on the fence. I know a few of them are going to be discussion posts, um, maybe one or two. Um, some of them are going to be videos where I ask for you to uh, analyze the material and provide some feedback. It might be uh, like a one page or you know however many words, I don't know, 500 words, 250 words, whatever uh, a page is. But I'm going to ask you to, uh, to use your thought. So, so the quizzes, like I said, are going to be more of a, a, like a knowledge check, uh, just making sure that you read the chapters, that you, that you get the material, whereas the assignments are more of an application. I want to see that you get these general ideas. But for everything in this class, refer to your book. So look, some of you uh, guys and girls may be coppers somewhere. You might be corrections officers. Um, you might just be really good students that have done some of these things before or dealt with some of these ideas. But for this class, I want to see that you can learn the knowledge here and then apply it. Um, I'm not like a crazy strict grader. Um, so so have fun, but again, I don't want you shooting from the hip because you waited till the last minute or um, You just didn't really delve into the material I want to see you apply the material not just tell me what a good idea is or what you think is right So when I when we talk about these assignments and I ask you for example on a discussion board um, to explain something explain this idea to me that means I want you to check out that book, see what that idea says, like truly kind of absorb it, and then give me your give me your thoughts on it. Um, so it's kind of a good thing because it's tough to be wrong when I'm asking you for your thoughts. But in the same respect, if you're just completely disconnected and you have no idea what the book says about that topic, it's going to be kind of apparent as well. So you know, I mean, I'm a great accordingly, uh, but. Again, I'm usually pretty liberal on those kind of assignments where I'll give you points for effort and everything else as long as I can recognize that you made the effort. So those are things to kind of keep in mind. It's, you know, I can't say it enough that it's not going to be overly taxing, but I do want to see effort. That doesn't mean that you're not going to learn anything. That doesn't mean that, you know, you shouldn't try your best. So two exams, one's a midterm, one's a final. My exams are pretty much taken from my quizzes and my assignments. So you're not really reinventing the wheel here. The midterm exam is halfway through the semester, hence the term, uh, hence the phrase midterm. And uh, it's gonna cover the material up to then. The, the uh, final exam is gonna be everything in the, in the uh, course. So some of, those, some of those questions, most of those questions will be multiple choice. Some of them may be a short, answer a short essay where I ask you to explain an idea again I can't stress it enough we're talking about that book okay what what did the author say and how does that factor into your answer how did you interpret that right um, so but that's that again open book open notes so I hope to see that you've done really well um, but that's an effort thing again um, and certainly don't wait till the last minute for those Here's the thing, I used to really kind of give my students a lot of opportunities to make up work, but the problem that I ran into was when we got to midterms and finals, there were people who had not yet taken the tests, or excuse me, the quizzes, and I unlocked those quizzes so that the people who did take the test can study them, okay? Use them as a cheat sheet, use them as a, a cheat sheet, bad word, use them as a study guide. Um, but again, the problem is, is that if someone, if I unlock that quiz and someone hasn't taken the quiz yet, they're going to see all the right answers, and uh, that's not fair to the people who uh, who put the, the sweat in. So, uh, you know, your your quizzes are due. They're assigned to the class. They're due. Uh, they'll be open the Monday of that week. 
they'll be due by Sunday night of that week. So you have the full seven days, you know, 11.59 p.m. But I'll give you one extra day. If you if you turn it in later, if you for whatever reason you don't get around to it, you can do it on Monday. Um, then I might take a point or two off. Um, but you can get there on Monday, do it by 11.59. But after Monday, without talking to me and a pre, uh, I guess, agreed, uh, plan to to be able to get that done. I can't. I I'm gonna have to give you the zero. It's only 15 points, but you don't want to take too many. So for sure, for sure, do that. As far as the assignments go, um, yeah, we we can be a little lenient on those. But again, there are gonna be people who do it on time, and I, I can't uh, I can't not ding you on something where the, you know these guys and girls put in the sweat equity here and. Uh, they got it done. They busted their humps, got it done on time, and now all of a sudden, you know, stuff does happen. So I'm not, uh, I'm not necessarily coming down on you, but you have seven days to do these, and I promise that will be plenty of time. Even if you have a full course load, that will be plenty of time to knock out these assignments. They're not going to kill you, okay? But, uh, but please get them done. It helps me, and it's fair, and uh, yeah. So as we move on, finals. We spoke about the project project is going to be something for you it's 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 more like a big paper okay but it's not I guess I shouldn't say a big paper your project is going to ask you to describe things it, it might be a crime scene or a crime um, or it might be an area where I ask you to uh, assess that area and bring down crime uh, give recommendations on how you would bring down crime it's going to be a little more involved, but again, not going to not going to kill you. Uh, give it the time that it deserves. Don't don't sleep on it, right? Um, but you should be fine. And if not, you know, obviously message me. So here it is. Uh, it's a, a total will be a thousand points. And as you can see here, if my math is off, please somebody let me know. But I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it's good to go. Uh, a is 90 to 100 percent, B 80 to 89, C 70 to 79, D 60 to 69, and then F is anything below a 60. I will say this, if you get an F in this class, it's just because you didn't try or you didn't turn things in. That's, you're not going to get an F if you gave effort. Um, the only way you get an F is if you blew off the final or you blew off, you know, whatever. Yeah probably going to impact your grade slightly. So for sure, do your work. Um, okay, student requirements and attendance. I will let you guys read this. I'm not going to drone on. These are things that I took from a, I'm not going to lie, stole this from another professor. Um, truth is, uh, these are these are some of our uh, requirements and attendance things that are just part of the BG kind of policy, okay? So that's why I'm not going to go over them because you've probably gone over them many a times before but if you feel you know that you want uh, you have some time to kill and you really want to delve into some exciting reading check that out um, if you need help okay so academic honesty real quick those are everything I do here is open book open notes this is an online class I'm not coming to your house to knock on your door and stand over your shoulder uh, while you take a quiz or a test or a midterm. There's no time limits on the quizzes. Um, and there probably won't be on the exams, but if there is, it'll only be like, it'll be like a four hour time limit, plenty of time. Anyway, be honest. You're studying criminal justice for crying out loud. So be honest. Um, it's kind of hard to cheat in this class because I'm pretty, uh, pretty open to however you want to get a good grade. I expect you to get the best grade that you can get. But with that being said, I don't want to see like Zoom calls where everybody's logged on at the same time. If, you know, you see, see things like, excuse me, if you see things like that, then it's just uh, it's more of an integrity thing. So I, I'm sure that that won't be an issue here. And uh, but uh, but for sure, you know, have integrity. You're not going to need to cheat. If, if you're that concerned, you'd probably be working harder than you would be if you just read the chapter and did the work. So please be honest. If you do get caught cheating, though, you can get in big trouble. Um, for details, go to this link. Uh, disability accommodation. If anybody, and, and policy here, if anybody has a disability, they need extra help, they need something along those lines, 
Um, there's people you can talk to here at this link um, or in this office um, and they will forward me paperwork. I, I don't want to know any of the details. It's not really it's none of my business. Um, but if you have something where you you know you get extra time or, or maybe no time limits, then again, that won't be an issue, but you have to go through the university so that they can send me something saying, hey, there are accommodations for this student and, and I'll be happy to make those accommodations. Um, the disability policy is here for your review. Um, and again, there's numbers and websites to go to if you have questions. Uh, those are the people that can answer pretty much everything you have to ask. Here's our course schedule, the meat and potatoes of it all. Week one, chapter one. Uh, our course introduction and the, the action, which is what we're doing right now, and the, uh, the importance of crime prevention. Okay, that's what that is. That's what our chapter is over, and you have a quiz. Not too bad for week one, but it, but it ramps up. Week two, the study of crime prevention. So we're gonna get into some, some cool stuff there. Um, this is really all setting a foundation for you to, to truly be able to, uh, to be creative uh, within, the, within the realms of crime prevent, prevention. Um, so week two, chapter two, quiz two, and assignment number one. Okay, like I said, that'll probably be a discussion post um, just because I kind of look forward to, uh, to seeing you. That, which reminds me, um, I, I don't, I, we're in an online class. I'm not gonna get to see you face to face. But I hope that you that you all understand, and this is probably true for most classes. Um, as a professor, I form like a mental image of you. You know, your impression that that gets left on me is is evident from or or is derived from your coursework. So I may never see you ever. Um, but when I read these assignments, where you're able to use your you're able to show your your command of, of typing, you know, you're, you're, you're well written, I guess, um, or your creativity, or both, hopefully. It really does kind of paint a picture in my mind where I start to see this girl's work or this guy's work and say, yeah, this guy, you know, he, he's squared away, or, or this young lady really, really has a good, she's she's a solid student. Uh, so I hope to, uh, I hope that you guys take pride in your work, I guess is a, it's a long way of saying take pride in your work because it does matter to people. People see that, you know. I myself am going to look at that and go, "Man, that's who this person is." Because unfortunately, we probably won't get a chance to talk face to face. Um, week three, root causes of crime. This is going to be an important one. Not that these other two aren't, but the root causes of crime are going to be what we address to prevent crime. You know, in in, in a way, anyway. So we'll get into that. Um, that's chapter three, week three, and then quiz three. So pretty, pretty cool in that regard. Um, this whole thing is subject to change, but I'm trying to I'm trying to do this so that it's easier for the students, so that you guys can kind of see what we have going on, and uh, and plan your your week accordingly, get into your routine, and know what you have coming up. Uh, week four, chapter four, environmental causes of crime, and I have quiz four and assignment number two. That's where I'll start to get funky with things. See if we can do something cool. Week five is employment and crime. Chapter five, week five, quiz five. Pretty light week. Um, week six, chapter six, community approaches. This will be a good one too. Uh, so we'll have quiz number six and assignment number three. Week seven, we'll have situational crime prevention. Chapter seven and our midterm. So awesome. Uh, we're halfway done there. And then week nine, chapter nine, quiz eight. So we skipped a week, oh, excuse me, week eight, chapter eight, uh, quiz seven. We skipped a week because our midterm got in the way. And I'm not going to give you a quiz on the same week that you have a midterm. So uh, we'll be a, a week behind um, from here on out on our quizzes. Week nine, chapter nine, quiz eight. Um, week 10, chapter 10, quiz nine. Uh, we come all the way down, pretty much continuing the trends here um, until we get to the end. Crime prevention, then we'll have our project. Our project's gonna be kind of all encompassing, but it's not going to encompass everything. So I guess everything is kind of inbound, but it's not It's not necessarily gonna ask you to go from chapter one through 13 and, 
and you know blast away with with stuff from each chapter there will probably be a, a more of a focus on certain chapters and when we get to that we'll talk a little more about that but you will be well prepared and uh, and you'll all do great and then obviously week 14 is our last week it's 8 15 so August 15th sounds like it's so far away but yeah anyway um, it'll be finals week you have a final exam it's due by 11:59 on the last day so the last day of the exam will be August 19th which means if you if you notice um, that's the Friday uh, let's double check here yes so that is the Friday not the Sunday night and we will totally go over that more and more when we get when we get to that uh, to that point I will make sure that you are well prepared for the final you will be fine and I might even open it a little early just to give you guys some access to it you don't have to complete it the first day that it's open but it'll be open for at least you know at least from that 8 15 uh, which is that Monday August 15th um, but it'll probably be open maybe even in week 13 so you can blast out your project uh, we'll prepare you for that you can kind of get some things in order to where you can you can knock that out then you'll have plenty of time to study and get the test done and enjoy some of your summer before you have to go back for the fall so that is our syllabus um, it is obviously on you click on our home you're gonna go to all the modules okay I have the modules broken down by date for you so you can see here 5 16 22 is week one so if you're ever for whatever reason if you're not sure whether we're in week one or week two or week seven or week eight um, just ask yourself what the date is and you know go to week seven if it's uh, if it's the week of 627 which is a Monday June 27th um, then you'll know you're in week seven okay and we'll uh, we'll knock out all the stuff there that is going to be dropped in but uh, your syllabus is right here at the top so if you need that link for the book definitely get it work on that as soon as you can because the quicker you have the book the quicker that you'll be able to, uh, to really get your reading done uh, and uh, you, you're certainly welcome to read ahead if you'd like that's why that uh, course schedule is in there uh, is in the syllabus um, but I don't necessarily want you knocking out the assignments too too early we might do something where if it looks like you guys are getting things done pretty well uh, we can we can do things where we open it maybe a week early but I don't want you working too much farther ahead uh, generally I will try to upload something it won't be long I think we're already at 28 minutes so longer than I want it to be anyway I'll try to upload something that gives you a little bit of heads up about the uh, the week and uh, a bit of a lecture but it's not gonna be a full lecture so we're not gonna have PowerPoints to blast through or anything like that it's gonna be you studying on week one and I'd like to maybe host something where you know periodically we do a zoom meeting you don't have to come this is an online class you do not have to come to a zoom meeting but if you're struggling or if you have some questions either you can get a hold of me and we can schedule something to where it's like a one-on-one -on -one, or um, I'd like to do some things maybe once a week where we just meet for a half an hour online and say hey here's what I'm seeing or here's here's what I just am not getting can you can you help and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, beneficial and hopefully we'll be able to interact a little bit again online classes are tough I know we're all busy we all have crazy schedules um, and things outside of school and work that uh, that take our time up so if you can't make it no biggie um, but if you can hopefully it, it maybe makes the class a little easier too so it always helps to, to augment the learning experience uh, shy of that I don't know if you have any questions but if you do feel free to uh, to email me or message me and I will make sure that I get them answered as soon as I get them I look forward to the semester I look forward to seeing some of your answers some of your creativity this is really something where you can have some fun with it so so enjoy it and uh, like I said I will be in touch with you all semester so if you need anything I'm always here I know you'll all do great and I look forward to uh, putting those final grades and hopefully they're all A's uh, any questions reach out to me have a good night and we'll see you virtually <laughs>